What's your process? I've never written a song. I play guitar. I often have a guitar with me. I play guitar all the time. I love it. I'm always playing other people's music. I've never tried to write a song, and I, I think I have a block against it. I don't think I could be emotionally vulnerable and write a song. If I wrote a song, I it would be I, a, There's a lot of people that aren't emotionally vulnerable in, in their song. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Like a Chumbawamba song, <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get knocked down. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I guess like, it has vulnerability in it, now, now that I think about it. Like, do you think WAP has a lot of vulnerability? Uh, oh my like, God. Like, you could have, like, a hype anthem. Like, maybe that's more of your Maybe that's more, you know? like, a bragging, Yeah. I'm all that. Yeah. No one wants to probably hear me open up about my inner hurt. No. I mean, maybe they do. <laughs> No, they don't. But there are many, you know, yeah. ins. Oh, my God. You know what I also saw? I mean, I know this has probably been commented on a lot, but we went and saw, we went over and saw Megan Thee Stallion yeah. perform. And there's a woman doing sign language. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they all notice this and it's been talked about in their videos. But I was in the crowd watching this woman. She's singing so fast, the lyrics. Yeah. yeah. She's singing the lyrics and it is hardcore. And this woman who looks like she would, you know, break into a telethon on PBS and say, if you'd like to get your tote bag, <laughs> the number is 1323-44. This woman's there and sh she's acting out with her hands. Yeah. The most graphic stuff with no expression on her face. Oh, no. No. Some of them are really, like, stoked, though. Like, yeah. they have, like, their own performance right. style. Right, right. That's a whole other, And they, I like, mean, dance along I've with it. I've seen those. Like, those starting. are fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Especially at, at rap but, shows. Yeah. They're amazing. Because they know all the stuff beforehand, and they get really into it. Right. I mean, you could go down a YouTube rabbit hole of sign language interpreters. I was blown away by that. I mean, I couldn't. I had a hard time paying attention to Megan Thee Stallion. I just, because my eyes were riveted on this woman. I was just amazed <laughs> by and. What she was... Her deadpan, like... Yeah, I mean, she wasn't exactly deadpan, yeah. but also she also looked like, I might have to leave soon to close the library. <laughs> you know, it's... But I don't know how you... Do you consciously sit down to write a song or does something come to you? Yeah, I feel like very... Uh, when I was younger, I feel like I, I was like waiting for the spirit um, to possess me or something. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. I feel like it's more of like a faucet. You know, like I feel like I... I put myself in an environment that I know is is going to be conducive to like writing. Like I go into like a forest or something, like a like a cottage in the woods and, and write songs. And you write on the guitar. I do usually write on the guitar. For the last record, I I kind of tried to like find new ways to um, push myself out of my comfort zone and write on piano or mm -hmm. you know sometimes I actually just draw like on a MIDI board of like because I don't have like a very strong theory knowledge. So if I can, like hear the chord I want. It's actually really helpful. You can like drag a bar of like a. Do you know what MIDI is? I don't. Uh, it's it's just like a like a I don't know like you can like drag a note sort of like on a on a graph and like mm -hmm. it will make a sound. Is it a program? Um, it, can you please explain that? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a language. Yeah. So it's like a computer language that allows you to write music. You can transpose every note or chord via this MIDI language, mm. and it'll spit out the note, and oh. you can make chords and. It's the way all modern music is now mostly made, you know, via computers. Ah. So you could say if uh, if you knew, okay, uh, it's it's a G, but it's not a G. I, I want it to have something. I want it to have a slightly different. You could on MIDI maybe play with the G and get a G suspended seventh, right, or right, ninth, right. yeah, without knowing that that's what you're getting. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So you can like have the G on the bass and then like with another note, like drag it until it makes the sound. You're like, oh, it's that chord. And that sometimes that would take me a much longer time to find on the guitar with my personal knowledge. Do you think that it might, learning theory might actually get in the way of your creative process um, ever? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I started taking some lessons. I mean, I hear that uh, like, but in in my experience, like even just like learning a very very small amount of theory has been really help, helpful for me. Because yeah. you're just like, oh, I can't believe I got this far without like knowing right. what makes certain songs. I'm just curious because I've never had any of that, and I'm I'm now even at this stage in life thinking, I think I need a teacher now. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, it's been years and years and years of me having people kind of show me songs I want to play or riffs I want to yeah. play, and so I I think I have a jukebox in my. When I pick up a guitar, there's a lot of songs I can play. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what 
how the hell it all works. Right, right. And maybe knowing how it worked would be fun for me at this stage. I think so. And I think that, like, even if you learn too much in a way that inhibits you, there's always ways to, like, kind of unlearn it. Like, I found that I took, you know, some more guitar lessons and, and found that was helpful. And then when it was no longer helpful, then you can just, like, put a capo on or change the tuning. And then you just, you don't know any, <laughs> anymore what you're doing. So I feel like there are weird tricks to, like, get to protect yourself from, from that ruining something. But for me, I, I found it to be really helpful and I feel like when you listen to music I mean there's a way to interact with music that's like oh that's like haunting or that's interesting or then you know or that's just like a minor third you know yeah I feel like you're all like chasing they're just like different ways to like chase a feeling or something all I ever heard when I was first playing guitar some some guy told me minor chords are the ones that make girls fall in love with <laughs> and I was like really <laughs> and then sure enough you play an A minor and you're like <laughs> Well, I did and nothing happened. No one was interested. But you could kind of see like, oh, I see how what minor chords do. Yeah, yeah. You know, E is like, yeah, E, but E minor. <laughs> He's kind of dreamy. <laughs> said, okay. said no one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I basically just tricked you into giving me guitar advice. <laughs> well, this has been a joy. It's been an absolute joy. Thank you for giving me street cred with my daughter. Oh, I'm so... Nev, I'm going to lord this over her. I... And she actually... Last night, because so I had read your book and uh, had been listening a lot to your music, and then she called me last night to just make sure that I didn't screw things up. <laughs> so. She sounds so cool. I'm very. She, she is. I feel very indebted to her. She's very cool, but I'm indebted to her for uh, for bringing me to Coachella, <laughs> so that uh, I, I got to see you do your thing. And I love that you came in and talked to me. This is amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you all. Well, don't thank them. They don't really do much. He's on. He, he he's just on MIDI. Find MIDI, which was incredible. <laughs> yeah, but he's basically he's been watching. I had my own like Miss Pac-Man just like melting down. <laughs> <laughs> MIDI, it's kind of a <laughs> you idiot. And we gotta write that song. What is it? Thwang thubba da thubba da. Oh yeah, thwang thubba da thubba da thubba. I'm telling you, that's gonna be huge.